Hello boys and girls and welcome to my channel. I am Miss Kim and what a wonderful time of the year. Christmas, right? All the beautiful lights. Well, there are certain traditions that we follow at Christmas like having family dinners where all the family get together and share. What about making Christmas cookies and candy and then have a Santa party? We also might go to church to celebrate Christmas. Well, some other things we do are read special books. One of my family traditions is a classic edition called The Night Before Christmas. Have you all read this book before? <laughs> this one is by Clement Moore, illustrated by Charles Santori. Well, let's get started. Twas the night before Christmas, went all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung on the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Does anybody know who St. Nicholas is? That's right, we call him Santa Claus now, don't we? Well, let's see what happens. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads and mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. What do you think he heard? The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midnight to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer who does that look like? That's right, Santa Claus. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Daughter and Blitzen. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all as dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. There they go, up, up, up. That's right, to the rooftops. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful pictures. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head 
to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. That's right. He got that from the chimneys that he came down. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back. Do you see the toys? There they are. And he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. Look at his beard, how long it is and white. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. Look at that. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> you guys try that. See if you can get your belly to shake. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, ho, 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 and to all a good night. There he goes, off to the next house. What a cute fun book to read during this time of the year. I just love the night before Christmas. Maybe you can start a tradition of reading this the night before Christmas. Boys and girls, thank you for joining me in reading this book. And remember, a good book and your imagination will take you anywhere. Bye. Bye.